Hello, congratulations! Welcome to the new module, new、uh, section. Hello, congratulations! Welcome to the new section. Okay, this section we want to talk about、uh, data type variables in the statement. Okay, they are all related. Okay, I'm going to write it down here. Okay, so the data. Okay, why we do we need to the data? Yeah, we processing right. We processing the data could be calculation, could be read the string, the input. Okay, so data must have a data type. Okay, and of course, it's just the type, but you need in when we write a program, we need to use a we call a variable. Okay, variable to store it temporarily. Okay,、uh, before you write back to the disk or save it somewhere on the cloud, if you suddenly turn off the <laughs> power of the computer, everything is gone. Okay, the data will disappear because the variable is a kind of small memory or a chunk of memory inside the、uh, computer system. Okay. Okay, and and the things about we call a, a statement. Okay, last things. Okay, statement first. Let's talk about it. Okay, last statement means just a、uh, one line. Okay. Normally one line of instruction, okay, that you do specific things, okay. The most common one is like this. For example,、um, x is a variable, okay. You want to assign x as a number, okay, and、uh, normally assign. Uh, from the left,、uh, you put a value into the x、uh, variable. We will use a sign. Okay, most the computer programming language use this. Okay, not this. Okay, and、uh, maybe you want to do this、uh, another instruction like、uh, x. Okay, be careful about this. Okay, this statement we will、uh, do the left part、uh, here first, and then after we evaluate it, the result will put it back to the x. Okay, so this is not a conditioning、uh, to check if x、uh, equals. X plus one, of course, is not the true, right? Is is false, but this is assignment. Okay, so be careful when we learn、uh, assignment and、uh, the boolean to kind of compare two value.、Uh, they will use a、uh, maybe for boolean comparison.、Uh, some language will use a、uh, two assignment to means to compare. Okay, to compare the value. Okay, so be careful about that. Okay, and one thing that we need to know that、uh, in this case, x is a variable, one is a constant. Okay, it's a we call a literal, literal. It's a value. Okay, the computer already、uh, give it the data、uh, when, and of course it's it's have a memory to keep it. But you won't be able to to rewrite it, okay. And、uh, when we learn the variable,、uh, normally we will have a, another variant.、Uh, it's a special kind of variable we call a constant. Okay. Sometimes you can declare a constant variable 
uh, which means you you are going to use it this but you your program uh, you don't want yourself uh, to to update it to write it to write back the data to it okay because uh, you don't think that will change okay for example uh, you may define um, pi as a constant uh, in some language maybe okay and this is all the same and you don't need to re rewrite right back to it okay you won't update it okay so uh, once you declare the constant you you if you program for some unknown reason you made a mistake or syntax error or runtime error you you try to write back the data to it they will generate some errors okay kind of protect your your variable okay so if you have that purpose you can uh, declare that okay let's uh, uh, what else uh, about a variable okay yeah normally variable you need to give a, a decent name uh, what do I mean meaningful name not decent name okay not nothing to do with uh, is uh, this this character look good or not it's uh, only for you to maintain right for example uh, if I want to write a, a program uh, which is about control the music playback it's about a uh, playback speed okay um, maybe you can use uh, some variable called rate okay to indicate that mm, maybe you want to use a uh, speed okay or you may want to use a uh, tempo okay uh, those are much much more uh, readable than the simply X who knows <laughs> what the X is okay so give a name uh, uh, make you uh, easy to know when you trace the code okay and sometimes uh, uh, you may want to use uh, two words to describe the feature of that variable uh, for example um, uh, if you want the variable uh, it's a kind of compound uh, for example uh, uh, for example uh, I have a variable called a control speed okay C O N T R O L okay actually it's a two word right so we separate these two words into a sp uh, with space of obvious they will consider two uh, two separate things right it's uh, disallowed in as a one variable so uh, sometimes the people will use on the line to kind of concatenate it or they just simply without space and maybe make this a second uh, second words um, uh, beginning with the capital letter okay um, a lot of programmer like to use we call this kind of style uh, camel casing okay camel casing we know camel right camel is, is kind of animal they can survive in in desert okay uh, uh, like a uh, camel they have a uh, two or oh, one okay camel sorry a neck a leg leg <laughs> sorry my terrible drawing okay so uh, you can wiki about it you can google about it camel casing it's a kind of style of uh, writing about the variable okay mm, what else we haven't covered about it mm, of course uh, okay 
uh, uh, in a statement uh, if for example in this you can be a, a kind of a variable uh, calculation do some mathematical operations right and also it could be a function calls return value okay for example uh, for example uh, plus okay plus maybe a function uh, maybe um, if your function call is uh, let's see um, Mm, current current rate okay for example you if you have a function called a current rate okay you have a two argument sending into that function okay uh, maybe you are predefined function or you call uh, inbuilt uh, library Okay. Anyhow, there's a function sit there. And they will just uh, do what they ask uh, to do and return the value. Okay. So it could be the function return value. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about the data type. Normally, uh, in high level language, we have uh, integer data type. Okay. Uh, normally, we we use int. Okay. Integer. Uh, some language you don't need to declare it you can just simply use it okay integer so what is integer uh, like uh, one five okay minus two okay those are the integer okay if it's a integer uh, all positive we call a unsigned integer Okay, if it's uh, include a zero and negative and then positive, positive, we call just simply call it integer. Of course, integer have its a range because uh, um, it depends on how many how many bits uh, in your programming language to represent that integer. Okay, if you uh, still remember, uh, uh, we when we talk about one byte we have uh, eight bits right okay and because the bits it's binary every single bit can represent zero one zero one zero one so if it use a one byte to represent an unsigned integer the uh, the smallest number okay will be zero the maximum number will be uh, 255 okay zero here means everything is zero and 255 is everything is one okay so uh, beyond this that's uh let's beyond its capability to hold this value okay if you want to have a uh, larger number okay um, the programming language will use uh, maybe four byte or even uh, longer uh, space to represent it okay but normally programmer don't worry that much about it okay okay that's a uh, one thing about the integer okay another uh, we normally have is a uh, character okay some programming language have this Okay, some don't okay because character just a single single uh, letter okay single letter uh, simply put uh, it could be a it could be a that's different uh, could be even a space okay that's later letter okay and in some high-level language um, they may use a string uh, to handle more uh, uh, complicated characters okay because a string means a, a sequence of characters right string okay uh, for example um, um, if you want to print out the hello this word 
okay this string okay this word and it's actually w o r d right this is full letter right okay and you need to you need to uh, put it into your program as a string okay so like this string okay uh, oh when we talk about the number uh, we have another important type okay I forgot to mention uh, let's use uh, let's use this okay the integer okay uh, what about we have a number uh, that is n have a some decimal decimal for example the number like this uh, minus 0 0.1564 okay wow this we call a uh, number uh, but we call it a floating number okay floating number because uh, uh, in computer system their internal phone to represent it there is a special way to denote their decimal okay I'm going to omit this uh, part um, uh, because uh, normally we don't need to care that uh, but maybe in the future I will record a section talking about uh, how computer uh, represent the decimal uh, floating number okay that's for for good for the uh, serious computer science learner okay so if you need to store uh, some information uh, for high precision see they have a floating uh, they have a decimal okay uh, the programming language will store it as a floating number okay let's just give this an example for example what if you do a calculation like uh, uh, um, x uh, 3 uh, maybe uh, slash by 2 okay we obviously know that it's a 1.5 right okay the result will be 1.5 and if it, that's the case this x will be uh, will be used in the uh, floating number variable to store the value okay unless you do some uh, kind of uh, data conversion uh, kind of we call a casting you, you want to uh, kind of truncate truncate the 0 0.5 you don't want it you want to take the flow of it okay that's a different story so uh, here it comes the uh, issue okay uh, when two variable have a different data type okay and can it be uh, can they work together for example to calculate do calculation okay a uh, real number a uh, floating number can it uh, calculate with uh, um, integer number yeah it's just a number it should be no problem right but can you kind of uh, calculate a number with okay with a string okay here comes a very tricky uh, so uh, what does what do I mean uh, I'm running out of space okay can you do this one plus uh, for example ABC in some programming language okay does that make sense to you yeah you may say mm, it's obviously no no right it doesn't have any meaning to human right okay yeah that's true uh, one here is number the ABC is a is a string okay but sometimes uh, uh, it's not that easy because the string can also be this way what about uh, 
you use oh, sorry what about this string now change uh, one two three okay now normally with string we use a single quote or double quote to kind of define its boundary okay uh, here comes a very tricky okay if you do this if it's some beginner may think why not one plus one hundred and twenty three yeah that's that's okay that become the one hundred and twenty four okay but uh, you may encounter some trouble in writing a program uh, without knowing the data type okay it could suffer from the uh, syntax or syntax error because this type of the string this type of the data is number this type is string okay how can you add a number to a string if without convert it okay if your interpreter programming language is just smart enough like a human okay they may do this they may do this they may convert this into the number and then do the do the calculation uh, for you but what if they don't support this feature you will get a harsh look and throw they will throw you back some error message okay so be sure to be aware when we learn the programming language yeah we need to kind of understand okay which type of the data we are dealing with okay I'll see you next time bye bye